Dr. Stephen Wright, Chief of Medicine at Faulkner Hospital, instructs his residents on community health care. One of his students was Dr. Sherry Blauett, a resident in the joint training program of Brigham and Women's and Faulkner Hospital. At any point in time, 25 residents are stationed at Faulkner. The partnership dates back to the late 1990s. It's a, an excellent model for the way health care should be delivered in the United States when you bundle an excellent primary hospital and an excellent tertiary hospital, you know, the right patient on the right location at the right time. The Brigham Faulkner enterprise should, gets high marks for having created this system and um, its efficiencies. It's critically important for the trainees to uh, understand care in the community, no matter where they wind up in their career. They arrive with great raw material. Uh, we just try to fine-tune it and help them find what they want to do. When selecting trainees for the program, Dr. Wright looks for certain special qualities in the applicants. One of the questions that we pose is, what's it like as a human experience when you're going behind a closed door and spend some time with the patient? So we want to teach them how to be good listeners, uh, to be empathic. In addition to his administrative duties, Dr. Wright continues to see patients and loves providing their care. It adds relevance to your uh, credibility uh, as an educator if you can draw on your own personal experience that's ongoing. I had a lot of great role models and I know it felt good as a recipient of education so I'm trying hard to give it back. The young people that we have in the program are so stimulating. They're enlightened, they are inquisitive, they um, are grateful for teaching time. And there is no greater example of that than Sherry Blauet. She could have gone wherever she wanted to and she ranked us first obviously and that's uh, commendable for us to attract someone as that, as, of that talent. For Dr. Blauet, the feeling is mutual. Think about Dr. Wright, you know, he's just a very um, brilliant but down-to-earth person, which I appreciate so much. I think the training we receive here is second to none. All of the people who are in mentorship roles are individuals who I feel found their way to the Brigham because they are very talented at what they do, but they also just have an incredible passion for what they do. Dr. Blauet has shown a passion for overcoming challenges in her own life and serves as a role model for others. She's a Paralympic gold medalist in the 800 meters and a winner of the Boston, New York City, and Los Angeles marathons. Her motto is no breaks. You now we don't want others to look at us and say, oh, because you fit this description, then therefore, you know, you should slow down or you should be careful or you should not have the same high-level goals that everyone else does. Because if you take the word breaks to be spelled B-R-E-A-K-S, then it can be construed to mean that we also, at the same time, don't want standards to be lowered for us, but rather we want to be challenged um, to live up to our full potential. Her perseverance and life experience will be a huge asset in helping her patients as she focuses on rehabilitative medicine. Many of my life experiences probably have taught me perhaps um, some skills of resilience. I consider my role more to be to empower people, to empower people to have control of their own life and to decrease the barriers to them being able to um, really have that self-determination.